Karen, it looks like we have a special guest here on The Ben Heck Show. We do. We're going to be doing the IoT on Wheels design challenge, so mm -hmm. I invited my friend Bob here to help us out with the builds. Oh, that's right. We've met before at the Hackerspace. Could you tell, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself? I am an electrical engineer. I design products and get them to market. I've worked with a lot of hardware startups and even done some of my own products. Awesome. Yeah, so we have this design challenge. It's IoT on wheels. So we've been given some parts and we have to come up with a cool Internet of Things connected travel vehicle related project. So with this Nucleo, I'm not entirely sure what this thing does. You guys have checked out like the data sheets and what this what's this, this thing is all about. Well, right? it's, a, it's a dev board for a new microcontroller. Looks like it's ARM based. Cortex M4, 80 megahertz, one megabyte flash. That's, that's quite a bit actually. 128 kilobytes RAM also quite a bit. Pretty beefy, because we had that other one, but it was an M0, I remember. So apparently we're supposed to use this in some sort of Internet of Things challenge. Well, let's come up with some ideas. Yeah. Okay, so cyclists. We probably want to focus on either safety or something that makes things easier, more convenient, or more efficient for right. them. So in terms of safety, probably the most dangerous times for a cyclist is either when they're sharing the road with vehicles or at night, right? Yeah. So we can either come up with something for that or we can try to do convenience. So I know when I'm riding my bike, I'm frequently using my phone either for music or for navigation a lot of times. So maybe there's a way that we can make that more efficient or more convenient. I think you're right that the phone is being used already quite a bit. So right. whatever we develop, has to either compete with the phone, which isn't a good idea, no. or complement the phone somehow. I like right. that idea. So I was thinking about how uh, the phone is great at sending me information, either right. over Bluetooth, like headset. While or you're biking. While I'm biking, or you know, collecting GPS data um, and all the statistics around my ride. But what I can't do is interact with my phone. So I can't send Safely. it messages as well as it can send me messages. Yeah, not right. unless you're like holding it in your hand and then almost crashing because you're... Right. Yeah, that's not safe. Which has happened. Um, <laughs> so, so what I was thinking was an easy way to interact with my phone okay. uh, while my hands are still on the handlebars. Ooh, I like that. So that could be like uh, one or two buttons, maybe a knob, maybe just something simple that I can map those button inputs to commands on my phone. So like in, in an app, it would say this particular button, when I press it, means this thing. So we would need at least the Nucleo, a Bluetooth module that attaches to it, and then the Bluetooth would talk to your cell phone. And we probably need a custom app on the phone as well? Right. Okay. Can you write apps? Yes. I have been doing awesome. development using the Ionic framework, <laughs> okay. which is uh, based out of Madison. And yeah, it's pretty cool. So it's built on top of Cordova, and it allows you to develop applications using TypeScript, which is sort of like JavaScript, and HTML and CSS. And then it cross compiles into uh, iOS and Android and a few other. Oh, that sounds pretty easy cool. to use. Well, there's some <laughs> okay. time learning to develop, but <laughs> All right. once you get the hang of it, it is pretty easy. Yeah, to none of us here have the skill set of um, developing apps. apps on phones, so yeah, that'd be very handy. So it sounds like we have a good start for our, our product idea for the IoT on Wheels design challenge. Starring the ST Microelectronics Nucleo.